Setting up Intellimix room with room setup. Before starting, ensure that all devices you'd like to use in this room are updated to the latest firmware using Sure Update Utility and are connected to your computer on the same network. Navigate to the system tray. Right click on the Intellimix room application icon to reveal the menu options. Click on Room Setup from the menu. In the Room Setup screen, first create the name of your room and select your desired channel count. Then click Get Started. You'll be prompted to either start a 90-day trial or activate with a license ID. If you choose to activate a license now, enter the 12-character license ID from your purchase confirmation email here. Select the checkbox to agree to the end user license agreement and click Continue. To add a microphone, click the checkbox next to the device icon. If your device isn't showing up, try selecting Show Devices with Unsupported Firmware. Devices with unsupported firmware can be updated using the Sure Update utility. If you've already installed multiple instances of Intellimix Room, you may have already assigned your devices to another room. If your device is not shown, try clicking Show Devices Included in Other Rooms. Once visible, to add the microphone to your room, select the Add Mic button in the lower right-hand corner. You will now have the option to add a mute button to the room. As before, if your device doesn't come up, Try selecting Show Devices with Unsupported Firmware and Show Devices Included in Other Rooms. If you choose not to add a mute button, click Skip. For this room, we'll add one. There are three output types available when selecting an output device. Sure loudspeakers, PC output, and other. Select PC output if you plan to use an audio peripheral connected to the computer, such as an HDMI output or a 3.5mm jack output. For third-party Dante-enabled speakers or Sure Annies, select Other. You'll be able to route your output devices using Dante Controller after completing room setup. Finally, you'll see a summary screen of all devices added to the current room, along with their serial numbers and IP addresses. You can learn more about each device by entering its IP address into your browser. Upon finishing, you'll have the option to create a common password for all devices. For our case, we'll keep their current password. You should now see at the bottom that room create was successful. You have now set up Intellimix Room.